Hello and welcome to the Suburban Homestead blog. I just wanted to give a short little garden update um, since we haven't posted on here in a few days and show you guys what we've been up to here um, at the Suburban Homestead. At one Suburban Homestead. There are many Suburban Homesteads. If you look around you'll find several. It's becoming more um, popular or common if you want to say. But um, first of all, over here we have our pile of compost and mulch. Now, just um, probably yesterday morning at this time, it would be about two times this size because it's shrunk because we've taken a lot of it out to the front, which I will show you what we've done out there in just a minute. We've also moved um, the rain barrels that we have here. You can see we still have four right here, but before it had come all the way out to um, close to where this chair is or a little further out that way, um, we had probably eight or ten along here with these blue barrels here, but um, we decided to move those over to here, conserve some space, and um, stack them like this over here, like wine bottles, sort of. Um, and we're not quite done with that project, but it does conserve space. So, that's how we're storing our water now, although those are pretty much empty. But um, now we only have four over here, which I believe we're going to be moving these also. <laughs> And that chicken right there is cheap. I'm getting good eggs from her and our other two hens. And over here, we got our chicks. We got eight chicks now. Three Rhode Island Reds, two Bard Rocks, and three Buff Orpingtons. Which this two of them are a little or older than the other Buff Orpington. The smaller one right there. But we're having a lot of fun with the chicks. We also laid this brick pathway. Um, the grass right here was basically non existent. There was just some stepping stones so we, and then mud when it rained, so we decided to put some brick pathway. We're not quite done with that, but out here in our front yard is where we've been doing a lot of work the past couple of days, which you'll see in a minute. Um, right here, first of all, the smaller bed, um, we just had mainly just like some grass and weeds growing there before. Um, and now we've put down the paper, um, the, the compost, and now the mulch. We're almost done with the, the mulch. And we've also done the same thing over here, except that that was quite a bit more work for one thing was larger, but we also had a lot of monkey grass all the way around the edge of it, all the way over there, and then over in this, this one right here that flower bed was full of monkey grass as well so we had to dig all that up get it all out of there and um, we put paper down compost and now we're in the process of putting mulch down there and we've planted a few things here we're gonna hopefully be planting some tomatoes and peppers out here today or tomorrow we also have some plants already planted and some pots there and our plants that we have not planted right here, including a fig tree that we hope to be planting as well. So, Also, one last thing that we've done is we used to have a big blue ugly barrel like this one right here, but except it was blue, and we replaced that with a white one, which looks a little better in front of the house. And that's to collect water from this spout, and then over here, which I'll have to go over here so you can see it, we have another downspout right here 
and the blue barrel back in there right here is another barrel collecting water from our downspout so we're not wasting any water coming off our roof any place where there's a downspout from a gutter we have barrels there to collect the rainwater that comes off the roof and then we use that to water our garden and it's worked great for us for the past few years that we've done that so. anyway that's what we've been up to here at the suburban homestead and um, stay tuned for more updates as we tell you how our progress goes in growing a garden the back to Eden way in the city.